Hello everyone, I'm Leon Thomas Lewick and here's your political news roundup for Thursday, August 26th. While floodwaters continue to ravage Pakistan, the Taliban is calling on foreign aid workers to stay away or possibly face violence. An estimated 40,000 more Pakistanis are being evacuated from their homes today, putting the number of people uprooted by the floods at over 17 million, with an estimated 1,600 people killed. A Taliban spokesman said the relief workers from the U.S. and elsewhere have ulterior motives and were unacceptable to the Taliban. A U.N. official dismissed that veiled threat. Former President Jimmy Carter is in North Korea. He's trying to win the release of Ajalon Gomes, a teacher from Boston who was arrested and thrown in prison for entering that country illegally. While Carter arrived, North Korean President and dictator Kim Jong-il left the country for a visit to China. It's unknown whether he'll return in time to meet with Congress to discuss the release of Gomes. Back home, the massive recall of eggs for possible salmonella poisoning has the attention of Congress. A subcommittee has scheduled a September 14th hearing on the recall of more than a half billion eggs linked to salmonella. Owners of the two farms that have become the focus of the investigation have been invited to testify, as have the Food and Drug Administration and the Agriculture Department. And the financial world will focus on Jackson Hole, Wyoming on Friday. That's when Federal Reserve Chairman Ben Bernanke presents his views on the economy and where he thinks it's headed. Analysts will be listening closely to see if Bernanke plans any further action by the Fed to breathe new life into the economy, where many have seen the recovery as having stalled and possibly headed toward a double-dip recession. That's your political roundup for Thursday, August 26th. I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Stay logged on to RTTnews.com for more on these and other political and financial news stories throughout the day.